if you're anything like me, you grew up with the mantra that breakfast is the most important meal of the day being drilled into you. And so we sort of came to learn that we needed to be eating all the time. You know, first thing in the morning, you had to get up and, and pack some food into your head, which was often high carbohydrate foods, things like your breakfast cereals full of carbs and often sugars. And this sort of idea that if you didn't eat regularly, that somehow we would run out of energy or come grinding to a halt. And the reality is that nothing could be further from the truth. And in fact, there's some significant benefits of having periods of fasting, this intermittent fasting. And there's a lot of science behind this now it's gained momentum in the last decade or so people have become very interested in this as a human optimization tool a lot of that's been driven around things like weight regulation or maybe losing weight interest in reversing some of the diseases that come from from uh, basically overeating which is where we're at in a lot of developed countries we are as, as a community we're killing ourselves through excess we're eating too much and the effects of those excessive calories on our body are driving diseases like diabetes like heart disease and there's some real power in intermittent fasting to combating those diseases and when we look at our requirements to eat when we go back to say the the caveman days is a great way to frame this discussion and eras like the paleolithic era or paleo people might have heard of that diet and that movement which which relates to the foods that the, the cavemen of that era might have been eating but when we think about human evolution from that perspective back in those days food wasn't readily available it's not like it is today where we can get our hands on food whenever we want we can eat until we're full whenever we want Back in the caveman days, it was slim pickings, and particularly in the winter months when the fruits weren't fruiting, when things weren't blossoming, there wasn't that, that source of the, the fruits and vegetables, when animals might have been harder to hunt, and so we didn't have those protein sources. So humans, from an evolutionary perspective, needed to adapt to these periods of fasting, and we've done that. We've got those adaptations that allow us to not only survive, but in many ways, to thrive in the fasted state. <laughs>